Hey guys, it is me, Happy Star again. Welcome to Last Dinner Survival. So we've got a brand new update, the Lunar New Year update. We also have a brand new event, and this event is called a Song of Moon and Sun. We can get here some new backpack skins, we can get here new clothes, and we have this new location on the map called Hidden Garden. So without any further ado, let's enter it. And first things first, so I've already noticed that we have this brand new path. We did not have these rocks before, because for those who didn't know, we had this Lunar New Year event about a year ago. So perhaps this event is going to be a little bit different, or maybe we did have this road and I've just completely forgotten about it in any case let's follow the path let's talk to sage here welcome to my garden everything's feng shui here let me show you around i assume feng shui means great everything's peaceful everything's good perhaps i have no idea here's where my warriors train my favorite student teaches them mulan you can fight in the arena too but a bit later let's keep going grandpa sage grandpa sage i want to fight now all right we're gonna fight a little bit later here's where we grow rice some of it we eat ourselves and the rest we give to the spirits sounds kind of wasteful but i I get it. It is what it is. You gotta do what you gotta do. There's a nice pond here, but everything you see will soon be lost. Of course, that's why I'm here. I gotta protect these people here as Neon, an evil spirit, is destroying this garden. It's so beautiful. It is definitely pretty here. I'm asking for the spirit's help to banish Neon, but I need to appease them. So now we have to go to the sun abode. Bring treats for the spirits from the abode. We can do this. Thanks for all the tips and tricks, Sage. I hope your name is Sage. And now when I think about it, maybe we've had this path before. Maybe we've seen those rocks in the previous lunar event update. In any case, now we have to go to the sun abode. I don't think there's anything else we can do here on the map. I don't think we can do anything here in this event. Here, the farmer out first. Okay, so let's just skedaddle from here. Let's go to the abode. Then we'll be able to participate in that arena. We'll be able to grow some rice. And there we go. There's the sun abode. So let's Let's go here. And before we start clearing it, smash that like button on the video if you'd like to see more Last Dinner Survival videos. Thank you guys for being here. You are absolutely amazing. And you know what else is amazing? Us clearing this location. So last time, last year, we could talk to a dude and he'd explain everything about this location, but apparently not now. We just have to kill zombies. I've also taken these Guandaos. Hopefully, I'm not butchering the name of this weapon, but it says the damage against centuries old armor. So I have no idea. What kind of armor is that? What I'm supposed to do with it? I have no idea, but I will see. Let's try to loot these zombies because I'm pretty sure they'll be they'll have something useful like these rice stems. Let's pick that up and let's try to use this Guandao. Let's see if we do more damage. I just shredded this guy fully. How much damage do we even do with it? We do 50 damage plus katana does 35 damage. All right, understandable. So next time I'll try to use my katana. I don't know if katana does any less damage or not. I don't have a slightest clue. Do they have protection? I mean, I do 15 damage only with the katana to them. Oh, no, there we go. I've done 35 damage. Okay, everything's fine. Forget it. The zombie that just had only 15 health. So it doesn't really look like they have any defense because my katana does full damage. So maybe these are not zombies that have centuries old armor. So maybe there will be like some sort of a boss that we'll have to kill using those Guandaos. All right. And for those who didn't know, I think I had these Guandaos from the previous Lunar New Year event because this is not the first Lunar event that we have here. And it's not probably the second one or the third one. I think we've had like six Lunar New Year events. And I think some of them were different. Some of them were similar. I think this event is similar to the last year's event. But I think some things maybe are a little bit different. Maybe they've changed some stuff. I don't know. We'll have to see. Now we have to harvest some more kumquats. We're going to get those kumquats. But before we do this, I want to deal with one more Jinxi. Do I have to loot this chest? I mean, it is here. I think we have to loot it. We've gotten more of those kumquats, more random resources. I'll take all of that. And I have to find one more of those kumquats. The game shows me that I gotta go here. There we go. I found it. I totally found it. Can I chop down this tree? What tree is it? Wait, wait a minute. What tree is that? Oh, I cannot chop it down. It looked like perhaps it's an ash tree, but you cannot chop that down. All right, so I'm gonna loot one more chest. I'm gonna pick that stuff up and... What do I need to do next? And go back to the hidden garden. Do I need to clear this place fully? Is there anything else that I could do? There's another tree, but I cannot do anything with it. There's no way that's it, right? Because last year to clear this location, we had to light some sort of torches. We had to kill some sort of zombies. We had to run across uh, one building to another using like some sort of a bridge. So I am pretty sure that we are not done with this location yet. So, hey, perhaps I'm going to kill the zombie and then I'll come back here later to explore this location fully. I just don't want to break anything. The game wants me to go back, so I will go back. Maybe it is better to loot this place fully now before we even go. But we'll see. Look at this. There is the chest and there is this garden. So maybe it is the same location from the last year. I don't know. We'll see. Let's get out of here. So while we are running back to the hidden garden, let me know what do you think of this new update. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. Do you enjoy this Lunar New Year event? Have you gotten any epic loot? 
is there any epic loot to get? It's always nice to read your thoughts. And now we're going to hop back here and we will talk to Sage again. Oh, the dog was following me. Okay, the dog was not following me. <laughs> I thought the dog will follow me. Whatever. I have my own dog back at the base. Have you gathered seeds and stems? Cook them with the farmer's help. Spirits love whatever. I assume spirits love good food. I also love good food. Everybody loves good food. I don't think there is a single person that doesn't like good food. So talk to the farmer. There we go. Welcome. If you only knew how much my knees squeak and my arms hurt, can put some WD-40. I can't work in the fields anymore. You do it. That's it. The dude just left. The dude just left. Well, all right. Uh, and I'll finally take a break. Understandable. Have a nice day. Oh, I've gotten a little bit of charcoal. So what we have to do... Oh, th this thing is definitely different. This is definitely different. So take rice seeds. Let's get 20 of the rice seeds. I'll take it. And now we have to grow rice stems. So how about I split everything just so that this stuff grows faster? Oh, wow. It grows very fast. Is it just for the tutorial or... Was it always supposed to grow this fast? I have no idea. Look at this. Oh, only the first few ones grew very fast and the rest take uh, 10 minutes to grow. Understandable. Have a nice day. I like that. Now we have to talk to the farmer. Did you grow it? Now you can throw it in the rice cooker and cook it. All right. Where is the rice cooker? Okay, so that's the recipe. We just need three of these rice stems and we'll get the bowl of rice. So let's put it here and let's add a little bit of charcoal. So we do have some charcoal in this chest. I might as well grab it. And I'll dump it. There we go. We have gotten one bowl of rice. Grants 30 of the sage's reputation points. Put it in the ritual bench in the hidden garden. So I cannot even eat that thing. As you can see, I don't have that use button. So I cannot eat this rice myself. Why would I eat rice when we have carrots at the base, right? Still looks like we're cooking carrots here. Understandable. Have a nice day. In any case, let's talk to the farmer. You're doing great. Come to take the seeds every day and grow more rice. Now we have to put the food on the ritual bench. Where's the ritual bench? I assume that it's got to be here. From last... Oh, no. The, there we go. The bench is different. So, yeah. This location is different different from last year. For sure. For sure. Do I need to drop the rice? Okay. I'll just drop one bowl. Oh, we probably need to add more stuff. Okay. What if I add only one more kumquat? And that is it. Claim rewards from the sage. Hello? Oh, we've gotten this new weapon! Yanyue Dao. Elaborate creation of the Eastern gunsmiths. Damage against centuries old armor. So it does 35 damage. So it's like a low-key machete, but it looks cool. I'll take it. It looks epic. Okay, so we can get some other rewards like these iron bars, some bandages. And again, these might not seem like epic rewards if you've been playing this game for a couple of years. But if you are a new player, I think 15 bandages is okay. It all depends how difficult it is to progress here. Maybe you can get like 10 levels per day. Maybe not. So we'll have to wait and see. It's always difficult to say if rewards are good or bad. They are a little bit poor, like 10 nails, 10 leather scraps. Isn't that amazing? We can get 10 iron plates, which isn't that great. Plus, we can get uh, two blue cards, which is... I'll take it. 10 copper bars. We can get some weapon mods, 10 steel, rubber if you need that stuff for your ATV, but you can get that rubber from the sewers. Then we can get the backpack at level 25. So apparently there are a lot of levels. At level 29, you can get some carbon composites, which you should definitely try to get because carbon composites are rare. Then you can get 10 factory parts. You can get some of these Sakura seedlings. People kept asking me, where do you get them? Well, apparently you get them from this event now. Then we can get this bike skin. Okay, you can get two of these flight controllers, which are epic. You should definitely try to get them. Perhaps I'll even try to get that stuff on my free-to-play account because I'm trying to assemble the drone. So getting the flight controllers will be amazing. Then you can get some steel, the skin, and at the very end, you can get these lunar packs. So I have no idea what kind of items we can get here. Each opening grants a chance to get a rank one, rank two, or a rank three Rottweiler puppy. Understandable. Have a nice day. So rewards are all right, I guess, but it all depends how difficult it is to get them. Now it's time to face Neon. I'll find him at night in the moonlight. Let's go drink some tea uh, to end the day faster. All right. Understandable. Have a nice day. Did you know that according to an ancient song, Neon was born of darkness? Take a seat. I'll get you some tea. You're about to switch from the sun abode to moon abode. Night will fall there and the enemies will become stronger. If you have progress in this location, you will lose it. Do you want to switch the time? I have no idea what they mean by that. If you have progress, you will lose it. So does that mean if I grow any seeds, I'll lose those seeds? I guess we're, we're about to find that out. Let's just switch it. I used to know plenty of stories, but my memories got so bad, said the dude. The abode is more dangerous now. Be careful, says Sage. So what do I have to do? Go to the moon abode. Okay, so... We have to leave this place. And my seeds are still growing. That's all right. We definitely did not have this system before. And now it's called Moon Abode. We're going to check out that Moon Abode very soon. But what about I go to the inbox and let's get this Yan Ye Dao. I don't want to butcher the name of this weapon, but I'm sorry. That machete looks more comfortable than my machete, probably. Whatever. Let's get it. 
Look at this, it's pretty long. It is epic, so we're gonna try to use it definitely. So now we have to kill more zombies and we have to launch fireworks. Oh, look at this terracotta zombie. It does have some sort of protection. So wait, let's get this weapon and let's get the katana just to see, whoops. So katana does 23 damage and this other weapon is doing 35 damage. Okay, so they have a little bit of armor, but not too much. So obviously it's better to use these probably special weapons that we've just gotten. I don't want to break this a melee weapon fully. I still want to keep it at the base because it's some sort of a collectible. I don't think we'll get a lot of these special machetes. I don't think we'll get a lot of these Yanvia Daos. So there's that. I want to save it. I will break it a little bit, but then I'll save it. Okay, let's deal with these terracotta zombies. And now we have to also launch fireworks. Yeah, we definitely did not have this thing before. So it's a different location. It's kind of the same location, but it's definitely been tweaked. So I guess that gets my approval. I should have just cleared that location fully. So now we know if you... We did not have to come back there. That's it. There's that. Now you know. You should have cleared that sun abode or whatever it was called first before launching it to the moon mode. There we go. Now I know that myself and I'll know that for the next time. So clear that place fully. Get all the items. Kill all the zombies. Do whatever you can do. And then switch it to another place to, to the moon abode. There we go. Now we know. And we've learned something new. Okay, I think there is a ladder. So how about we go up the... Wait, 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 wait. Before I go up that ladder, I want to get more of these kumquats. Because then I can give those items and I can progress with that sage. Then we can get better rewards. And let's see. What does it take to launch these fireworks? Nothing. I didn't even need a torch or anything. We just launched the fireworks. They just exploded here. They were more like firecrackers than fireworks. Oh, we are getting more seeds. We have definitely gotten a lot of seeds. I'll try to grow all of those seeds. Also, I'm not really sure how often this location resets. I'm not sure yet. Soon we'll learn. I'm pretty sure it resets like probably every 24 hours. As always. Oh no, this dude came out of nowhere. Let's deal with this guy in my machete. Yandao, whatever it's called. Yandao, it's about to break. I don't want to break it. Not yet. Now let's loot the backpack. Where are the other fireworks? I thought there's somewhere here. Okay, there's some sort of a bridge. Let's go across the bridge and there we go. That's where we have more fireworks. I don't really know if I have to stay close to them or not. Maybe they do a lot of damage. And now we have to kill Neon. Where is that Neon? I'm gonna just drop down. I assume it's gotta be somewhere here-ish. There we go. Neon's coming after me. Neon is on another side. I wish I could just jump over this thing. I wish I could vault here. Okay, I didn't have to vault or do anything. I just came here to another side. I still want to keep an eye on this machete. I do not want to break it. I don't mind using it. I guess maybe that's fine. Let's keep it. Because I am sure I will break it. Let's use these Guandaos. I have no idea how difficult is Nian. But I guess we're about to find that out. There we go. More Kumquats. And where is our good old Nian? Okay, the dude is in the middle. Nian has 1,200 health. Let's get that. And how about I get a Glock just to see how much damage we do with the Glock after I sneak attack it. The Glock does 11 damage. Sometimes we do 21 damage if we get the crit shot. Okay. Okay. Okay, the dude is maybe gonna do something. Any special attacks? All right, let's try to attack this guy a bit more. He does only 12 damage. It's not that bad. Okay, the dude's still doing 12 damage, but we are doing only 18 damage with our katana. Okay, let's try to lure this guy down here. I think it is possible to corner trick them around this house. I'm just gonna let this guy come a little bit closer. And you just have to keep moving. So it is possible to wall trick them here. There are a bunch of other different houses. I'm sure you can find a different spot, but I think it is possible to wall trick this dude over here. So let's say you don't have these Guandaos, because why would you have them? So you will be able to wall trick him that way. Hey, we've gotten some of these caramel apples. I haven't never had a caramel apple, but it sounds delicious. Go back to the hidden garden. Okay, uh, this time I'm not going to make that mistake. I'm not going to do anything silly. Before I go back to that hidden garden, I am going to clear this place first. I'm going to deal with all these terracotta zombies. And my armor is about to break. Okay, plus we haven't even checked out the arena yet. And hey, maybe the arena this year will be better than last year. I don't know. We'll see. And yeah, in the sun abode, I did not loot any of these food stalls. Unbelievable. I definitely wasted an opportunity there. Definitely wasted some items. That's fine. Now I've learned and you've learned that as well. If you haven't cleared this location yet, and if you wanted to watch this video before clearing the location, then hey, now you know that you have to clear that sun abode fully, as it will reset. The game did warn you that it will reset, but in any case, here we are. And inside of this chest, we've gotten more of these conquests. Look at the amount of uh, rye seeds we've gotten here. A ridiculous amount of seeds. I think it should be stocking up on coal at the base, because we need a lot of charcoal. So there's that. Start stocking up on charcoal, because you will need that charcoal to cook the rice, and you will need a lot of it. 
Okay, are we done? I think we are done with this place. I don't think there's anything else left unless I've missed something, but I think I've looted this place fully. And when I go on auto, it says action unavailable. So maybe there's nothing else left here. Maybe we cannot auto this location. In any case, I think we are done. We're back here and we got to talk to Sage. I do not have any armor. Hopefully he doesn't mind that. No pants, no nothing, but hey, let's talk to Sage. You restored our harmony, but it's only temporary. Only good spirits can defeat Nian. Uh, bring more gifts for the ritual bench and the spirits will get rid of Nian. Reach level 45 of Sage's reputation. So level 45, Um, what level is it? So it's the end basically, right? Maybe it is very easy to reach level 45. I don't know. We'll see. So what if I give these rewards? Will I have to fight that dude again? Let's say I gave him a bunch of caramel apples. We are already at level 5. Dude, we're just going to get a bunch of awesome rewards, won't we? Yeah, it is easy to level up. So these rewards are fine. Then now I get it why they're giving just nails and whatever other stuff. Because you're not getting one level per day. You are actually leveling up kind of fast. And hey, I might not need these resources. But if you are a new player, then this event I think is kind of good. It's definitely worth it for new players. Let's drop now a little bit of rice. Rice didn't give a lot of points, did it? And let's drop all of these kumquats. I mean, we have barely leveled up to level 6. Yikes. Yikes. Let's take all of that. And we've gotten this new vinyl record, A Song of Sun and Moon. So we'll be able to use that at the base. Before we do anything, how about we grab another set of armor? Let's just grab another tactical armor. How about we try to do this arena? Because I haven't done the arena yet. We'll unlock when you complete Mulan's challenge. Okay, so let's probably talk to Mulan then. Hello. Are you ready to fight us and prove your strength? I am ready. I was born ready. But remember, you can't leave the arena. It's cowardice. So you'll instantly lose. Ring the gong whenever you are ready. I think I'm ready. I'm just going to hit that gong. The battle will end when you defeat everyone. Oh, so this time we're not fighting zombies. We're just fighting these guys. Okay, the dude is running away. What is going on? Why is he so close to it? Next time I'll be more prepped. Okay, warrior apprentice. They're just attacking me for no reason. Okay, one dude just ran away. And he came back. Why are they leaving? I have no idea. Well, I destroyed this guy. We can probably destroy this dude as well. I mean, so far we just have katanas and that was understandable. Quit running with dignity. Chickened out, huh? I mean, the dude is doing a decent amount of damage. Okay, there we go. I'm going to whip out my own Gwandao. How am I doing only 14 damage to that guy? Next time I'll be more prepped. Let's go follow me now, she says. Okay. She, how does she have 300 health? Well, I'm going to whip out my shotgun. Say hello to that. Say hello to my little friend. She has a decent amount of health. Let's see. She started rolling. There we go. There we go. Next time I'll be more prepared. Maybe no. Maybe don't be more prepped. You are a skillful fighter. Claim our rewards from the dummy. Okay. I'm ready. So we've gotten this Eastern Warrior Pack. Let's open it up. And for this fight, I've gotten some seeds. That's about it. I've only gotten one of those warrior helmets. Mulan challenge. So another thing we'll unlock in 24 hours. Give warriors gold to fight in the arena immediately. An ancient relic. Give it to Mulan to fight in the arena again. I have no idea where do you get this. Maybe you can only buy them. So the rewards here are a bit sad. It's not that difficult to deal with these guys, but... I don't think I get any profit, so I'll have to clear this location six times in order to get all of these rewards. It's nice to get here some rice seeds, I guess. And it's nice to get these Guan Daos and Yan Ye Daos. However, we'll need to open up six packs to get all of the items here. So Mulan's arena here isn't super difficult, but the rewards aren't that epic either. But hey, maybe I am mistaken. Maybe those rewards are epic. So let me know your thoughts about the arena here. At least we have better rewards from Sage, right? And that was the Lunar New Year event. I'm glad that it's different from last year's Lunar event. And now let me know your thoughts about this event. Do you think it's worth it? Are you enjoying it? And I highly suggest you check it out my days. Go on Let's Blur. Click here on the second card and look at my Resident Evil 4 remake Let's Blur. Hop over to my channel, go to playlist, and there you'll find a lot of other games that are played here on the channel. If you're not subscribed yet, definitely make sure to jump subscribe button and notification bell to not miss any future videos and see you in the next one